Hello, hello, everybody. If you want to see hundreds and hundreds, probably thousands and thousands of beautiful blue dream shrimp, then this is the video for you. I'm going to take a look at each of my blue dream and blue velvet tanks. And then we're going to do a project on a 40 gallon blue dream tank. So stick around. This will be fun. This is one of two of my special project Blue Dream tanks. So what that means is this is where I'm trying to breed the highest grades I possibly can. And these guys are getting simply, simply amazing. So what I do, I pick out some really, really good ones, let them breed out, pull everything out of the tank, Keep only the very, very best ones. And I've been doing it over and over and over again. And this is what you get when you do that. This tank is due to be reset soon. So that'll this tank will be the next tank reset project, I'm sure. This tank is what I call my blue velvets. Now what that means is when I reset those tanks, the ones that aren't the very, very best, they all go in here for whatever reason. They just are not outstanding. A lot of them go in here and then a lot of them go in the Skittles tank. Just depends which tank needs shrimp at that time. But this is what will happen to my Blue Dreams. If you just let them breed and breed and breed and breed uncontrolled. And starting off with not the best ones too. So you start off with eh so-so ones that weren't good enough to be in my colonies and you let those shrimp breed out and breed out and breed out to whatever never really called them or nothing and this is what you get and i sell these as blue velvets on my website markshellyaquatics.com and this is my other special project when i got as soon as i come over here and hit record <laughs> mr plucko man decides to make a mess but again, now that that first project tank we talked about, it was started from this tank. And when I started, this was the very first tank I started doing all my resets on. So these guys in here are pretty outstanding. Mr. Plucko just screwed the shot up though. <laughs> and this is my newest tank actually. And I just aquascaped this tank, not I think last week or the week before. And we called this one not too long ago. This is my newest tank. And we're still at the repopulating stage, but we've got lots of buried girls. The boys are all swimming laps. My wife, she says, what's going on in that tank? I look over and there's little male sh blue shrimp swimming around everywhere. That means we got some girls ready to go we got lots of good ones in here there's i have seen a couple really looking ones i need to pull out but only a few and we'll get those here soon but on to the project tank for today this has been my main 40 gallon blue dream tank for probably three or four years now we've got this is another tank where we're experimenting with crazy bright lights. Well, not crazy bright lights, but a lot brighter than I'd like than I usually do. And you can see the shrimp. They don't care about the algae. It's just more space for them to hang out in. But we're going to try to clear out this algae. <laughs> this will be fun with all the little baby shrimpies. We're going to try to take care of all that. Clear out the moss because when I'm catching shrimp out of here, I'm running out of empty space here. The moss is taking over everything. So we're going to pull quite a bit of this moss. And we got, yeah, I hate this hair algae mess. But that's what you get when you experiment with a brighter light. <laughs> All right. First thing we're going to do is start pulling out algae. This will be fun. So we'll take a look at this, you guys. I just started pulling out the algae. And they're all like, oh, he's stirring stuff up. Let's go see what we can taste. <laughs> yeah, right. this is going to take a while.
So I'd say that's about 99.9% .9 of the algae. And just look at this. Let me pull this up. Look at all the shrimpies. So what we're gonna do now, I got almost all the algae out is we are going to pull out all the moss, shaking off all the shrimp. <laughs> and then we'll get a good idea of what we're dealing with here with as many sh how many shrimp are in here and how many we need to pull out. All right, look at this, you guys. Look. At the shrimp, and this is me. Look at them. This tank always amazes me. Every time I try to do this, it it just blows my mind how many shrimp are in here. <laughs> All right, back at it. Look at this. Holy crap! Sorry for the reflection, but pulling up the last big mats of moss. Holy smokes. Look at that. There's a lot of them. A whole lot of them. All right, and this is what we got. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So I'm going to put some algae wafers in and let it go for a few hours. While it calms down, the pluckos will probably come in and mess everything up. Put some algae wafers over there and I'll put some algae wafers right here. Then we'll see what happens. Well, after stirring up all that, yanking all that moss, we stirred it up pretty good, but you can see what we're doing with here, at least when they come up to the front of the tank. So we've got all these algae wafers, got them all piled up. I want to start doing, we'll start pulling any irregular ones out. Ones that are light or have dark spots or well, it just ain't awesome, you know? And there's so many shrimp in here right now. I'll never get every single one of them, but I actually, I do most of my calling when I catch shrimp to sell. So what I, what I do that is I like, in this tank I sell, these are my blue dreams. I take a scoop out, random scoop. And if there's any in there that don't meet the standards, they get scooped out. So I do a lot of calling like that, but I need to pull out all this moss and <laughs> I'm going to be scooping out shrimp out of here for a while. And what I'm probably going to do is, right, there's the Skittles. So instead of putting them in a container, I might catch the first batch in a container and show you guys. But I think all the ones I pull out of here, I want to put in the Skittles tank. <laughs> all right, we'll start getting on that. So these are the guys I've been pulling. These are all I've got so far in about a half hour. I'll never get all of them now, especially with it being super cloudy. It's too hard to see, but we made a good, good dent in them. And I'm gonna keep on pulling some more out before we put that tank back together. But <laughs> I've caught a lot of shrimp real fast and they're starting to act like they're not happy because there's so many in the little container. So, these can all go live in the Skittles tank. <laughs> all right, let's get back at the job at hand. Well, I know there ain't much to see with it being so cloudy, but it's time to put some moss back in. Yeah, right here, look at that. We're gonna put great big, huge chunk of moss back in. And I'm gonna try to keep Oh, it really sucks when you drop it on the floor. <sighs> I'm gonna try to keep the middle of this tank clear and have the moss 
mostly in this back right corner. So, yeah, it's kind of pointless for me to even do this on video, but <laughs> get some of that. Just some more of it in the corner. I like it more over there. And I'm not gonna tap it down too much because there's still shrimp everywhere. Then I'll put another. I'll probably put about a third of the moss back in. And then the rest will go in my moss pond. And I'll have, I gotta take, make a video about that, an update video on that. Cause that thing has been awesome for me. The new moss pond. So we got a big old, got like three big mounds of moss there in the corner. But grew up on the side here and then here in a few weeks, this will be cleaned up. So we don't have <laughs> something super awesome to look at here at the end, but we accomplished what we wanted to accomplish. You can see the tank is already clearing up. Lots of super awesome shrimp. And could, did you ever count how many were in here? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I have no idea how many I got. But there are tons. There are tons and there are tons and there are tons. All right, everyone. Thank you guys for watching. This was a fun one. Bye.